I don't know whether to be really personal right now or to be just on the surface. I'll mention two. The one is Psalm 139. Uh, it talks about I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I can go up to the heavens. Lord, there you are there with me. I can go to the deepest sea, parts of the sea, you are there. Just talks about um, how you cannot run away from God, you know, and how he basically chases you down as his child. You can never outrun him. You can never out -sin him or, you know, God is constantly after you. And that's the scripture for me. And the very personal one is, I think it's Ecclesiastes 7. It talks about um, acting quickly in anger labels you a fool. Um, yeah, so I do have a thing of, you know, if you irritate me, I will be like, I will tell you off right now, whatever. So I recently read that scripture, I think in December. And yeah, it's, it's kind of real because I constantly need to remind myself, don't act a fool, don't be foolish by replying too quickly, by being too, by being impulsive in, you know, in situations. Take a moment to breathe, assess, analyze the situation, breathe and use wisdom. You know, be wise um, because it's your decisions, it's the decision, decisions that you make that will protect you in future. You know, and the results that come out will indicate whether you made a wise decision or a foolish decision. So now I live by that. I live by, okay, these results, are they showing that I made a wise or foolish decision? Okay, I acted in anger. It was foolish. You know, and I don't want to be labeled a fool. Who wants to be labeled a fool? So I'm kind of really trying to live a life where I apply wisdom and I step back and think of the situation before acting. And it's really tough. It's like after telling God that God, please help me with this. He puts me in those kind of situations all the time to kind of test me. But I'm, I'm grateful. That means that God hears my prayers and I'm constantly tested. Okay, a, a scripture or word that has carried me or is currently carrying me uh, for a long while um, is Titus 2, 11. For the grace of God appeared to all men, teaching us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live a self-controlled lives at this present age. That scripture for me, um, I, I, I took it to heart when I was at university. I was a youngster, um, I'm still a youngster, but I was a youngster then and um, much younger and uh, uh, much foolish. And this scripture was a great scripture that gave me handles to practical grace. Um, uh, just made me realize, I think when I, I read it, I kept on, I used to just meditate on it and it just reminded me that in my journey, in my walk with God, um, grace is almost like a, a coach for me. It's, it's, it's a great reflection when I, I walk in my walk um, or in my journey. Uh, just a reminder um, as I read the word, as I seek to be in context, in tune with God, as I seek to be serving Him, it's just that um, just the grace is almost like the one that helps me to see where I have erred, to see where I have um, fallen short and, uh, and not to be too, um, not to also be too harsh on myself and just to remember that I'm being in a, a teaching, I'm being in a teaching and I'm being taught, I'm, be, I'm, I'm growing in my, it's a process, I'm growing in my journey. Uh, with Christ, so just reminder that it's, it teaches us to say no to ungodliness. So when I fumbled, just remember that you know what the reason I remember I, or I can see that I fumbled is because the grace has taught me that you know what you fumbled. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, and not be oblivious on what I do um, or on every step that I take, but just to be mindful of my journey with God. So grace is is actually gentle. It's embracing reminds guides and um, yeah so that's that's the scripture for me um, so the word that is currently carrying me is from John 18 um, first so from verse 4 to I'm just gonna read and then tell you when it ends yeah so it says Jesus knowing all that was going to happen to him went out and asked them who is it you want Jesus of Nazareth they replied I am he Jesus said when Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they said. Jesus answered, I told you I am he. Yeah, so that's um, John 18 from 4, verse 4 to 8a. Yeah, so just half of verse 8. And it's about 
the time when the soldiers were looking for Jesus. So it's in the garden of Gethsemane. Yes. And <laughs> they are looking for Jesus. And so the soldiers are like, who is it that you want? And like every year, I'm always like, I want to know the Lord. I want to pursue Jesus. You know, and sometimes I'm like going around Jesus, you know, and that's what's carrying me and that's what's propelling me to really pursue Jesus um, more earnestly this year, more than I was last year, stopping and waiting, um, trusting Him, um, following Him, and um, yeah, and in Him I'll find all things, yeah. Yeah, um, I think I would describe that, that word in Habakkuk, you know, where the Lord says to him, I'm, I'm going to do something in your life where you won't, even if I told you, you won't be able to fathom it. You know, that's kind of something that I've hung on to. Um, there have been other scriptures as well that obviously form parts of the moments of your life that, um, you know, where, you know, it just gives you what you need and, and the Lord knows what you need out of the scriptures. But, but definitely that scripture in Habakkuk um, uh, that really resonates in 1 verse 4. And there, there are um, other scriptures like, you know, the ones that we all know, uh, but had, had taken on a new life. I mean, like Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I know it's such a famous scripture, but, um, you know, those scriptures come to life when you actually go through uh, life things and you hear God speaking to you through those scriptures so i know the plans that i have for you for me i looked at that in a different light um and saying you know what things are unclear but god knows um these the end from the beginning and so there's an opportunity here for me to not only activate my trust but my faith and how they should work together um so yeah plenty of scriptures but definitely a Habakkuk is, is one that really stands out to me and I think one that really resonates over the course of, has been resonating over the course of my life um, so far. <laughs>